Yeah. He can, <laughs> he can bark. Yeah. All right, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get it so that, that George and Charlie can have a walk on the street without him, without Charlie lunging at other dogs. So the first thing you gotta know is that a leash is really a tool that we use for physical control most of the time, right? But, and dogs sort of comply. But what they're doing is sort of complying. What the best use for a leash is, is to get and garner a dog's attention. So that you're not so much negotiating with them physically, going for control, you're actually starting to work with them. First step that you want to do is recognize that you're using equipment that's not going to work for you. This is a harness. Harnesses are for dildos, not dogs. <laughs> so you're going to want to get a leash and collar set up. I would recommend a nylon um, choke collar because they're the best tool for choking your dog. No, because they're the best tool for communicating with your dog. And when you want to be able to have a conversation, the more moving parts, the better, because otherwise you engage a dog's opposition reflex. See, when I pull, he pulls back. When I relax, he relaxes. When I pull, he pulls back. When I relax, he relaxes. So the next thing you want to do is the way that you hold your leash is going to really have an impact. If you do this, you have very little range of motion. When you hold it like this, you can actually start to give him what I call a signal. Eh, eh, good. Eh, good. And start to actually be able to communicate with him in a way that's clear that you actually want. So the moment you see the other dog, what you want to do is create a little bit of slack in the leash and then a snap back. If you don't get it, do it again twice the strength. You would need a rusty 2x4, a rusty nail and a 2x4 to actually hurt that dog. So. <laughs> Is this making sense to you? Yeah. See how he's following you? It's because you're getting his attention in a way that makes sense to him. What does it take for you to do something that's like hard that you're going to do? Uh, determination. Determination. Okay. So let's start this again. Just to move through, we're going to have Nick walk through with the dog, and this time, do it with determination. The trick is to not forget for a second that you are connected to them, and you'll know when enough is enough. Number one, you'll know because it'll be effective. Yeah. And number two, are you an abusive asshole? You don't look like one, but I just wanted to make sure. So you wouldn't abusively treat your dog, right? You wouldn't treat your dog in the way that it would be right. So you're good. And also, when he sat, I didn't tell him to sit, right? Yeah. Right. He sat because I said I said to him through the leash, show me a postural demonstration of your willingness to cooperate. Hmm. Which is not the same as like, do it or I'll kill you. Like it's not force, it's like this is who I am. And he responded by going, okay, I'll work with you. Dogs listen better when you speak in a language they can understand. Yeah.